Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. We're at the Michigan Golf Show. It's just about to be golf season. And with us is Greg Johnson, who's co-chair of the committee of the Michigan Golf Foundation and, and knows a little bit about the Michigan Golf Hall of Fame. What's happening with the, the hall right now? Well, we're here, we're here at the golf show because we're, we have a huge fundraiser going on right now. That, and then really there's two of them, and we don't want people to get mixed up. There's a fundraiser over with Ferris State University to build their new PGM center, their new for their PGM program, which is professional golf management. And that's where the new home of the Hall of Fame will eventually be. We're going to be part of that center. but. In the meantime, we still have to run as a committee and elect classes and have outings and banquets and all that stuff. And so we're raising money for that with what we call our bucket list golf promotion. So I'm here selling tickets for that. And you, you buy it for $20, you get a ticket. We're only selling 500 of them. So it's a, it's a one in 500 chance. And the, the prizes are a twosome at Crystal Downs, which very few people get a chance to play, number 13 course in the world, or a threesome at Oakland Hills. You have to play with a member, obviously, and then a four and a night stay at Forest Dunes. So we feel like that's three of the real bucket list golf courses in, in Michigan and certainly in the U.S. even. So so uh, that's what we're offering and it's $20 for a shot at that. And uh, um, Doug White, who runs On the Dunes, which is a, a huge sports bar with golf simulators up in, up in Commerce Township, um, graciously offered us a spot in his booth. So we're over there. He's got the $25,000 the hole in one contest going we're selling 20 bucks for a bucket list so you can make your day with just 25 bucks in that booth you can really do it and uh and uh and uh, if you buy a ticket for the Hall of Fame fundraiser, you get a copy of Chuck Koch's book, which Varden Kapalian, a co a co-worker of mine for many years on the golf beat, he he wrote the book about Chuck. Chuck is probably our he's probably our Bobby Jones in Michigan golf, and uh, and he was one of the original class guys who went in with Walter Hagen and uh, and and Al Watrous. I mean, you can't get three bigger names in Michigan golf, and. Uh, and he always kept his amateur status, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He's, he's one of those guys. Well, the forwards by by uh, Byron Nelson, who was born about the same time and died right about the same time, and they were good friends, and they played against each other in all the major amateur events and a lot of majors, period, of the, in that time. And uh, and he loved Chuck, and he, whenever he came to Michigan, he would play in exhibitions with Chuck and all that stuff. So, um, you know, and they were a lot alike, real gentlemen of the game, quiet, wonderful players. But, yeah, Chuck decided to have a real job at of you know working his way around the country or being a club pro and so he, he was our Bobby Jones is really what he was. That's a great way to describe him and he he, he was definitely a humble guy because we had a chance to meet him before he passed away and uh, he doesn't go around promoting himself and that in itself is kind of cool. No he just a, a gracious man a really kind man I, uh, I remember the first time I met him um, he was just hitting shots at a par three on the old course in Indian Wood and uh, and he was, he was, you know, advanced age at that time, and he couldn't hit it very far anymore. But he hit that two iron like it was a four iron. You know, he hit it really syrupy and smooth, and and he, you were just jealous right away that this guy's got an incredible tempo and golf swing. It's like it's a little bit like Ernie Els and Fred Couples combined kind of swing. Beautiful golf swing. Wow, wow, amazing. So. The Michigan Golf Hall of Fame has um, new classes every year, and so there's a committee that's going to elect the new class. And tell us a little bit what how that process works. Well, it's a it's a process where we have a committee of 17 people who are from all the major associations in the, in the state and some media people too. And uh, you're on the board, and then we develop a ballot from we get, we take nominations through one of the committee members. So if you want to nominate someone, you get a hold of a committee member. We, we decide if they're worthy of nomination, we, they get nominated, we go through a process, we pick a ballot, and then we vote on the ballot, and then we'll have a new class, and the new class will be inducted on June 5th at Katke Golf Course at Ferris State, because that's where our new home is going to be. And, uh, and this year we have uh, uh, Ken Allard, the great pro from, uh, from Detroit area, uh, Todd Anderson, the you know, world-class teacher from South Carolina who's originally from Grand Rapids and grew up there and played golf there. And then... Uh, Oh, let's see who else is in there. Oh, uh, Dr. Vargas from Michigan State, who's Mr. Grass all over the world, and has done more for golf than most people can imagine. And then, uh, and then our fourth, and I'm trying to think here. I got, I'm thinking on the run. Um, 
I'll think of it in a minute. Uh, but it's uh, it's a really good class. It's four going in, and uh, and it's you know it's always a fun day. And people and the public can come play in the outing. It's a it's a hundred and seventy five dollar ticket, but you know we'll take your money and we'll get you a good pairing. You know you'll get to play with people like me and and uh, and you. <laughs> is he is he outing at Kaki? It is at Khaki. It's I. Uh, we, we've done it the last few years there because that's where our new home is going to be. Um, we had a ceremony there a couple years ago. Where we cut the ribbon, and uh, and we're hoping one of these years here we'll have the groundbreaking. We're getting close. So I think it's a perfect place to have it because Ferris State's golf program it was really the first of its kind in the country, wasn't it? It really was. It was the first professional golf management program, um, and it's still it's still one of the top four in the whole country and it produces so many great pros. You can walk into a shop anywhere in America and it's probably a Ferris grad behind the counter. So it's uh, it's that good a school. It has a great reputation. Yeah, I would bet there's 150 Ferris grads in this building tonight if you walked around and, and stopped at all the different golf courses in their booths.